Report to you live here somewhere on a lawn in Scarborough with the dog Chewy. It's live from last week, episode 176. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Chewy Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on, I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after a fun time last night, going out to the Blue Jays game with the wife, G, and her family, celebrating my buddy Gio's birthday, and making it out for this Danny Jansen giveaway day, getting this nice blue jersey and the patented Danny Jansen sport glasses that you can see me modeling here. I got home to take a mini five hour nap, waking up early to walk the doggo named Chewy, playing with this cute little face for the majority of the morning, before going back here to the Scarborough Costco for a quick Costco run, then going to the cemetery to do my monthly visit to my lovey. At the cemetery to do my April visit to Lala. Hi Lala. All right, Lala, continue to guide us in our everyday lives. Pray for us, look over us, and we'll see you next month again. Take care for now. Next, after spending the afternoon doing this point of view of the doggo trying to lick my face. Jay, my face is on limits. Don't lick my face. I took him on his afternoon long walk in the neighborhood before rushing to play some indoor volleyball tonight. First, originally going to the wrong school gym, eventually arriving to the Fisher Public School to play some indoor volleyball with Joanne's team. guys after my volleyball session was done I made my way here to meet up with the wife after responding to this post on my buddy Jagger's business page for karma tickets so that the wife and G can end up here this evening at the Princess of Wales theater to enjoy the play of Les Miserables on my behalf Thanks again to Jagger and the best place where I get my resale tickets for all the events that I go to, Karma Tickets. But moving on guys, before we wrap it up for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends who you guys know we celebrated his birthday with at the Blue Jays game last night. This birthday shout out goes out to you Gio, happy birthday Gio. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, I want to welcome y'all to the first day of May. Happy May, guys! So yeah, after meeting up with the wife downtown last night, we were able to utilize this $5 coupon deal from A&W, saving more than 10 bucks on this meal, enjoying this teen burger, which actually came with some onion rings, at the condo. Then, after having about five hours of sleep, I got up before the time of the sunrise to take this guy on an early morning walk before driving through the thick Scarborough fog to drop off the wife downtown for her day shift. Then, going back to the condo, I was welcomed by this guy laying on my lap to take a mid-morning nap with me, with him even having some dreams of barking and running in his sleep. Anyways, now after a long afternoon walk with the doggo and getting him to wear the gift that I bought him off Facebook Marketplace last week, his favorite Blue Jays jersey today, while watching, of course, an afternoon Blue Jays game on the big screen at the condo, 
before I go in for a single night shift tonight. We just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends slash DJs slash cousins out there who I visited in the past in Detroit as well as his home in Los Angeles. This birthday shout out goes out to you, JJ. Happy birthday, JJ. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So, do you guys remember the joke that we made when we were younger that went, why did the chicken cross the road? Well guys, post shift coming out of the hospital, I looked at this scene and wondered, why did the geese cross the road? And so, while watching these geese make their commute to wherever they had to be, I got to post shift map for less than two hours. Before seeing this little guy be restless in the afternoon, seeking for attention from the stepmom, and evidently distracting me while I was trying to edit my live from last week videos. So the wife and I took him out for a nice long walk, taking him to the local pet value in Scarborough to see if we can find him a new toy to keep him occupied. You like it? Okay. No? Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. And well, after several attempts of trying to find this little one something to play with, and dressing him up in preparation for a big day tomorrow, we had finally found something to buy him. Ooh, there you go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we also figured to get him a treat from the place next door, seeing that from a distance he was actually eyeing this store. Getting this guy a specially ordered puppuccino from the local Starbucks to enjoy. And guys, on our walk back to the condo, this pup started to pose for us for a quick little photo shoot session in front of the wife. But yeah guys, when we got back to the condo, we witnessed that Chewie really took a liking to this new toy that we got him. Especially since we were able to place some treats inside of it. Playing with the new ball all over the place. As well as the vacuum while we were cleaning and vacuuming. From the time that we got in from our walk. Okay, get your ball, get your ball, get your ball. Get that $8. Plus tax investment. Yeah, good dog. Literally watching the beautiful sunset go down for us in the background until the late evening here. We then finished the night with one more late night dog walk where I magically hit my goal of reaching 10,000 steps for the day. But moving on quickly before we say good night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my talented singer friends who I remember first meeting when we had that 24 hour layover in Iceland. This birthday shout out goes out to you Natalie. Happy birthday Natalie. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering from back in my mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Kevin. Happy birthday Kevin. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So once again, instead of being able to sleep in before my night shift, I got woken up by this pup at 6am barking at my bedroom door to take him on an early morning walk against my will. Lucky you're cute. And since today is a special day for him, I had allowed him to go chase some squirrels. Let's go chase that squirrel. Where do you go? And after having a quick video shoot of him looking like Beyonce at some of her concerts, we headed back inside the condo to wear our matching Blue Jays jerseys. Doing another quick video shoot before the wife had woke up to celebrate his special day. Happy 
puberty. And once the stepmom woke up out of the bedroom. Good morning. Good morning. It was finally my time to catch up on some sleep. Then with the most current weather forecast. Get this guy to put on his yellow raincoat so that we can go outside in the cold and take him on a wet afternoon walk around the neighborhood before playing with his early birthday gift that we got him less than 24 hours ago. Anyways, with plans to celebrate this little guy's birthday more officially later this week and going in for one single night shift tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my co-workers out there who I haven't seen in a while but has made a cameo in a previous Live From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you Michelle. Happy birthday Michelle. And we've got a birthday greeting to the one and only Doggo who has been sporting his Blue Jays jersey with us for his birthday. This birthday shout out goes out to you Chewy. Happy birthday Chewy. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today is May the 4th, aka May the 4th be with you, aka we'll throw back to this clip from earlier today. Happy Star Wars Day everyone from me and Chewy. <laughs> But yeah, coming off night shift this morning and letting the doggo sniff the hallways for a moment after an overnight visit to Auntie Selena's place. <laughs> Getting him to choose which door at the condo he wanted to go to. Stay up here. He's enjoying his freedom. I was able to get up after a poor, poor post shift nap. With it being about this hot as the thermometer in the condo had shown. Consoling about the problem of my lack of sleep with the doggo Chewy. Then after getting the energy to take him on his afternoon walk. With him at times resisting me to take him around the block. We went back home to give him yet another birthday treat for this weekend. A nice birthday cake cookie to enjoy while singing him a happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Anyways, after chowing down about a third of the cookie that we had given him, and having this quick video shoot with him and his treat, it had looked like he wanted to bury it into his pillow bed and save his birthday present treat for later. But yeah, after taking Chewie with us to drop off the wife for her night shift downtown, Chewie and I decided to take a ride in the Mini to walk around the more calmer streets in the Toronto area in the region of this nice, beautiful community up just north of U of T. And yeah, before we wrap it up for this year's edition of May the 4th, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember going to dance school with when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. And we've also got a birthday greeting to one of my coworkers who I remember last hanging out with outside of work at last year's Christmas dinner. This birthday shout out goes out to you Amanda. Happy birthday Amanda. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Today is May the 5th, aka Cinco de Mayo, where I'm breaking out my poncho that I last wore at the Taco and Beer Festival not too long ago and celebrated this occasion at a store earlier taking a picture of more than Cinco containers of Mayo. Anyways, on to more serious matters. On a night where I didn't get a good sleep with the dog waking me up with his barking literally 
each and every hour. So getting up to see that there was a little bit of a window before it started raining this morning, I took the dog on a walk outside in the cold, wet, and misty weather before gathering up all of his belongings, bringing them out to the parking garage, trying to get the resistant dog to follow me into the car. Come on, Chewie. You're almost in the car. Almost in the car. Until I was finally able to get him in the front seat with me. But yeah, once I got him to calm down a little bit, I made my way back to going downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift so that we can drive all the way to Saga to meet the puppy Sesame and spend some time with the in-laws. I was also able to go to Sunday Catholic Mass today at the local St. Martin of Tours Parish, running into with my Tita Mercy in the background, the one, the only, my Tito boy. And after taking a quick mid-afternoon nap, I was able to take Chewie out for a nice walk slash photo slash video shoot with him at a local park where he was able to do his best impression of Houdini. Fine, you wanna walk? Let's go. Oh sh what the fuck? And after I was able to drive the wife back downtown for her night shift tonight, where Chewie clearly enjoyed sitting in the front seat, I saw this Familiar deal for burritos for Cinco de Mayo, leaving the doggo in the mini just for a moment. Okay, Chewie, don't worry, I'm coming back. I'm just gonna go and get us some burritos. Going to this quesada location once again, just like I've done in the past, and ordered yet another $5.99 burrito this year. I next went to the store to buy these craft brewery Mexican style cervezas to compliment and enjoy with my burrito for my Cinco de Mayo meal of the year. And on top of that, after catching this beautiful sunset from the views of the condo, I got to see the doggo enjoying his personal time, just being him and me hanging out tonight without anybody else or other dogs interrupting our bonding time that we're having together. What are you doing, dog? What the heck? But yeah, before I wrap up Cinco de Mayo for this year, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made during our times back at Neo Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alana. Happy birthday, Alana. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, I finally got proof. After only getting five hours of sleep last night, once again, before we witnessed this beautiful sunrise this morning, I had this doggo recorded live and on video of waking me up.
Chewy, no barking, I'm trying to sleep. So of course I got up early just to walk him. Walking along the sidewalk here. Watching him do his usual morning exercise routine. And afterwards, driving back downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift. Then after relaxing for the rest of the morning, I took the doggo out for a surprise walk, leading us here to the local Dollar Tree to get him a belated happy birthday balloon. So then we both spent some time on a random piece of lawn not too far away, entertained by some TTC buses going by us here. And as you guys can definitely witness, we were both pretty much living our best lives. We then started making our way back to the condo with this guy loving his walk through the grassy field, taking some nice breaks during his long walking journey, and surprising the wife with his balloon when we got back to the condo. <laughs> Come here. Come on. We have to wipe your feet, birthday person. We next decided to drive an hour in traffic to visit Tita Munit's place and have this gracious feast that she prepared for us, allowing Chewy to roam around the backyard. Oh. Chewy. Okay, Come back in. Bye bye. Bye bye. And doing yet another birthday celebration with everybody here. Quickly. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chewy. Happy birthday to you. One, two, three. And speaking of birthdays, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FGAR friends from back in the day, of whom I'm motivated by with his support of fellow runners. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthday today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays today. And so, with that guys, we've come up to the end of this week's Live From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.